I wonder why ever you could possibly be choosing the uh, the flannel tonight, Sarah. Why the? Well, it's chilly here in New Jersey, and it's kind of rainy, almost like we're in the Pacific Northwest. Almost. Almost like that, huh? I know, it's weird. I know we disagree on the new Twin Peaks. I love it. I think it's great. I don't I love I love TV that fucks me up, man. I don't think it's bad per se. I think it's you know, th there's no lack of talent invested in what's going on. It's very different than the original series. Like if you're going expecting something similar to the original series, you're going to be disappointed. It's very different. I, it's just, I think David, you're coming from a perspective that David Lynch is, is chosen this to mirror, like the way he, he, the original Twin Peaks was a mirror of then present day that, nighttime soap operas, things yeah. like that. Like, like he, it was sort of a, a send up of the t television that was popular at the time. And you think the and, return is. Yeah. And that, and the underlying thing was the horror hiding in your neighbors that you don't see oh we got a peggy hi there you have a cat now i'm not happy about that yeah, she doesn't like it so now <laughs> like look at where tv is now look at the shows that are popular they're gory they're dark they're fucking bleak and now it's more about the horror that you see but are numb to because we are kind of numb to a lot of these things and television has gotten bloodier and darker so and that it kind of makes sense to me that hard left turn and that's a valid interpretation of it but my I, I tend to take an interpretation based on stuff that also takes place outside of you know the show itself like for the fact that showtime pretty much said the only way lynch would come back is if showtime let him do whatever he wanted yeah and he is literally doing whatever the fuck and he the whole wants. cast backed him on that like when they when lynch walked away the entire original cast was like, if David Lynch isn't there, we're not signing on either. So they really bullied Showtime into giving them carte blanche. They did. And, but the trouble and is... David Lynch is a crazy person. Yeah, he kind of is. Because it, it, he does not give one damn for no. economy of storytelling. He is, no. the first four episodes could have been told within 90 minutes. But one of the other things I said to you was a lot of it is designed to frustrate you and unsettle you. Like you have an electronic buzzing sound throughout a whole scene or a fly or something that just and everybody talks really slow and just kind of stares at each other. And it's meant like I have ADD. It's fucking torture. And, and the I'm problem like, just spit it out. And the problem, the problem is, however, we're in a generation now where when that shit starts, you can just skip forward. But don't do that because part of the experience is experiencing that tension, that tightness in your chest. You call it, that, it's like, not tightness. Come it's on, you know, I like, just, that's I'm what... annoyed. I'm annoyed with it. And also I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think to me, that's part of the experience. Like he creates the mood in you that he wants and hey, puts okay. you in that headspace. You know, if this was like 10 episodes, I'd give you that. But he's doing this shit for 18 hours. Literally, he did it for hours. 22, season two. Didn't he and split? half of that didn't even have the primary plot. Yeah, didn't he leave halfway through season two? No, he didn't direct a lot of the episodes, but he was, and he didn't do, it was kind of like the showrunners of Lost. Like, he mm. wasn't hands-on, but he was still running the show. He was still steering the ship, but not doing, like, the day-to-day. Because -day. he got into doing Lost Highway and Wild at Heart and all that stuff. Yeah, and that that's that's the other thing. This this is definitely the TV show he was very much reined in. There was yeah. a leash on him. This is like this is lost highway, David Lynch. This is erase yeah. at points, this is quite literally eraser head David Lynch. Yeah. Cause there are sequences like, from that are straight up eraser head shit. Yeah. The 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 safety restraints are definitely off. Yeah. So I, I, I've, I, and my, my reading of critics so far is it's been kind of mixed. Some have been like, this yeah. is amazing. And some have been like, what happened to Twin Peaks? And honestly, I expected that no matter what he did, half the fandom was going to hate it and half the fandom was going to love it. Like there was nothing he was going to do that was going to please everybody. 
Because if you played it really straight, people were going to be like, where's the weird? He decided to go balls out weird. And people are like, I don't get it. It's, it's I'm one of the people that like, I'm like, I don't get it. That's amazing. Who the fuck are all these people? What the fuck is going on? Like, why is there a purple room now? Like, oh my God. But I love that shit. I love TV that just fucks me up. Even Michael Sarah. Oh yeah, that was. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> No, not not Michael Sarah. I hate them. They have always been my least favorite characters. Like I hate Lucy and Andy. I don't love James Harley because he's boring, but I fucking hate Lucy and Andy. So like when Michael Sarah shows up as their kid, I'm just like That's appropriate. Cool, there's another one now. Yeah, yeah. So so you didn't mind that whole ten minute long joke one note joke that just stretched along the Brando joke. You realize this is the show that in the second season premiere when the primary character has been shot and you don't know if he's going to live or die or who shot him, the first 20 minutes of the season premiere is an octogenarian room service waiter giving him a thumbs up over and over, right? <laughs> yeah. David Lynch David Lynch is like, fuck you. You're going to wait. If You're gonna no, wait till I'm goddamn ready to tell you what I want to tell you. If nothing else, it is a catastrophic spectacle. Yeah. Kyle McLaughlin with those black contacts. Yes. All right. Now that we've had that sort of weirdness, let's get to real life weirdness that has no one in control of it whatsoever. Yeah. Each week, Catherine. Pretty you dead air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here from the seven. We like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And this week, crazy. Jesus Christ. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. There are some creatures in here that are designed in such a way that they say, Leave me the fuck alone. Yes. Most of them are in Australia. Yes. <laughs> they are they, they either through their coloring through their um sound through any other sort of biological adaptation literally covered in spikes that say don't fuck with me buddy and every other speak creature in the animal kingdom abides the rule that if something says don't fuck with me they generally don't fuck with it except one creature do you know which creature? Yes. Is it us? I think it's us. For fuck's sake. Florida man tries to kiss a rattlesnake. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Bit on the tongue. <laughs> I don't know if my mic picked up Dan muttering dumb motherfucker. But <laughs> Jackson. He wasn't just trying to kiss it then. He was trying to French kiss it. Yeah. Okay. Jacksonville, oh. Florida. A Florida man leaned in to kiss a rattlesnake, but the serpent bit him on the tongue instead. Ron Renoyled, uh, Renoyled? Reynold? Is that Reynold? Reynold. Reynold. Ron Reynold was airlifted to the hospital in critical condition after the poison snake bit him on Tuesday. His neighbor, Charles Goff, said he found the diamond back Monday night and put it in a tank. All right, number one, he didn't raise this rattlesnake. This wasn't a pet. He got a wild rattlesnake, brought it home, put it in a tank, and tried to kiss it. Most wild animals don't want you to kiss them. No. They don't trust you. I have two domesticated cats that get pissed off when I kiss them. But are diamondbacks a type of rattlesnake? Yes, I thought they those are. were a different type of snake. Okay. That's the diamondback rattle. No, no. Is and he bit his tongue, which means, yeah, he did try to give the snake tongue. I don't know how else it would get his tongue, so. Yeah. Women should do this, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but some, you're. Some dude tries to slip you the tongue and you yeah. don't want it. You bite that motherfucker. Yes, yeah. but ladies, you're not venomous. You're not. Okay. I don't have wings either. <laughs> <laughs> I just it, it so I feel like you could fashion a sort of Spider-Man type of yeah. venom sack, the synthetic. 
Now, the guy's going to be okay. But here's the other thing. As for the rattlesnake, Joff said his neighbors let it go after it bit Ronald. Cool. So the snake, quote, so the snake is still out here running around somewhere. It's probably not. I mean, it's probably going to be fine as long as no one else tries to kiss it. They probably would have killed that poor snake. Yeah, Yeah. this is true. Because no matter no matter what the circumstances, if an animal hurts a human, they kill the poor animal, even if it wasn't their fault. So I'm kind of okay with them letting that snake go. Because he didn't do anything wrong. Oh, this that snake got sexually assaulted. (laughs) Are we just going to blame the victim? Chad is also correct. That is not how you do a snake bite piercing. That is not. That's not. That's not how you do that. This next one is making me deeply ashamed because it is from my hometown. Oh, boy. Charleston is one of the oldest cities in America, and it has kept a lot of its heritage and historical buildings. Uh, it got it fortunately missed out on the burning that Sherman gave most of the South. So there's lots of really ancient things here. It's a big tourist attraction, and they like to keep the city, at least parts of it, you know, presentable in a historical fashion. And they have horse carriage rides through Charleston. Oh, I saw this. You saw this, yes. Which, the historical society can control a lot of things. They can control the cobblestone streets. They can control the look and f- and design of buildings in the area. But the one thing they cannot control is absolute batshit stupidity. Woman who dressed as dinosaur to spook horses turns self in. I mean, you know, maybe she was just trying to add another level of historical accuracy. (laughs) Because there were probably dinosaurs in Charleston at some point. (laughs) And I doubt y'all have any monuments to that. (laughs) So she was just repping for an underrepresented minority. A woman who police say wore a dinosaur costume and spooked carriage horses in South Carolina has turned herself in. Police uh, spokesman Charles Francis said in a statement, the 26-year-old Nicole Wells is charged with disorderly conduct and wearing a disguise or mask. Francis say Wells was dressed in an orange Tyrannosaurus Rex costume, and I'm trying to get this so you guys can see this. When did these T-Rex costumes become, like, the thing? I don't know. Like, it seems like in the past year, all of a sudden, there's a pole dancing video of a pole dancing, like, competition where a chick did her whole routine in one of these things. Like, it's a thing. It's... I, I think it's more than a year, though, because when I went to Convergence last year, last summer, we had somebody in one of the, in one of the T-Rex really? costumes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they, they've kind of been a thing for several years right oh, now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm behind. One of the things about this, one of the reasons you do not do this shit is... Horses are very large animals. And they spook really easy. They're prey animals. They normally travel in herds, and they behave like prey animals. And if you scare them, they will freak the fuck out. And they you can look at the picture right here of these horses. They put all this headgear on them. They put right. uh, blinders, the blinders on them. Yeah. They uh, they do all this stuff because they're in a city environment already. So And then... Here, it, it's already a bad scene for them because they spend hours walking around dragging a heavy old thing in basically an entire environment of PTSD for them. Like, it's and, not a fun life well, yeah, the entire, already. The entire point of blinders is to limit the stuff they're going to see that's going to spook them. Right. Yeah, the uh, Wells was dressed in orange Tyrannosaurus Rex costume, walked toward the horses pulling the carriage, she started growling, even though the driver shouted several times for her to leave. Don't do that shit. You're going to get somebody hurt. I mean, it, it, look, I know and you think... Poor horse. Yeah. You're trying to be viral. You're trying to be funny. You're trying to break big on YouTube. No, you're just being an asshole. Do, do you know why all those hidden camera shows have like all of these... You ever see the credits of a hidden camera show? There's like a hundred fucking people in the fucking credits. You know what all those people do? They're controlling the environment so that horrible shit does not happen and people get hurt. At least they should be. 
you with your damn cell phone camera and your fucking Tyrannosaurus outfit are not a hundred people. You don't have permits. You don't have insurance. You just want to get some hits on YouTube. And the horses didn't sign a waiver. The horses did not sign the waiver. Don't fuck. Don't do that. Leave the poor horses alone. Yes. Just why? It's... <sighs> think and i think one of the horses fell over didn't it yeah horses which is okay. bad like thank god it got back up because yeah. but uh horses, horses okay. falling over is not a good thing no, no. horses okay though horses okay. yeah <sighs> don't fuck with the animals have no they do not want to be on youtube they don't want to go viral they don't give a fuck all right, this next one. You All saw right. Peggy. She didn't want to be on the internet. She didn't give a fuck. This is a, This is one of those moment, those little serendipity, hellish serendipity moments we have. Um, just this past week, you and I were talking with uh, Doctor Nerdlove on Twitter. We um, were about how he was talking about how guys keep doing the same stupid shit right. over and He's over. He's sick of writing the same column over and over again. And I said, "Oh boy, friend." <laughs> And he was, and we explained to him, and we gave him examples like people keep fighting in the Chuck E. Cheese, and he was like, "That sounds like the saddest thing ever." It is. It is. Well, Tara and Doctor Nerd Love, in case you have to be watching, guess what happened this week, Tara? Fighting a Chuck E. Cheese? No. 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 Gunfire in the parking <gasps> lot of the Chuck E. Cheese. Why? Jesus Somebody really hates fucking Skeet Why Hall. are you fucking <laughs> talking at your kid's birthday party? <laughs> Who's going to roll in? The mini blips? Father fires shot in Chuck E. Cheese parking lot at child's birthday party. This is Fairbank Heights, Illinois. Child's birthday party, and it was shots fired at a Chuck E. Cheese. I'm going to say that again. Shots fired at a Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, police say the father of the child celebrating their party got into an altercation with a male guest at the end of the party. Argument led to the parking lot when 25-year-old Javan C. Chamberlain allegedly retrieved a gun and fired several, several shots. He then sped away in a vehicle. Witnesses identified Chamberlain as the suspect. As he returned to the parking lot. That was the moment. He fires off his shots. He came back? Well, guess, you know what he left? He left his kid, didn't he? He left his kid at the birthday party. Jesus Christ. I'm tough, motherfucker. Bang, bang. I'm out of here. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. Like, humanity, man. Firing... At the Chuck E. Cheese. So why are you packing at the Chuck E. Cheese? Your kid is it? There are children. Hundreds of children are there. I mother. A vast majority of your potential targets are children. Nobody thinks you're hard, man. Nobody no. thinks you are a badass. Right now, we're all just like, are you out of your goddamn mind? And then you forgot your fucking kid. You watch The Wire, right? I have never watched oh, The Wire now. When thinking, The Wire was big, I did not have cable. All I'm thinking of is Omar. Man gotta have a code. <laughs> and part of that code is not firing shots at the Chuck E. Cheese. That's pretty... You'd feel like that would be a pretty simple code to live by. Don't yeah. you... Don't... You know, it's like it's 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 like the fucking professional. No women, no kids, no shots fired at the Chuck E. Cheese. No animatronic rodents. Uh, all right. Oh God, damn. You know how? <laughs> all right, we're in the Trump era, and and the the old the saying has been going around. What's the other reason Twin Peaks has gotten so fucking dark. What are they supposed to do? Yeah. We're already in the darkest fucking timeline. The, the the saying has resurfaced from the Watergate era that the cover-up is worse than the crime. Yeah. 
That was the first thing I thought when I saw this story, but I'm not entirely sure. I'll let you guys be the judge. Hi, honey. Uh, you want to come over here? No, I don't. Man says he stole security system to conceal masturbation. Oh, and look at that face. Look at that <laughs> face. Look at Mr. Tristan D. Tucker. Dunbar, it's, West Virginia. It's West Virginia. Dunbar police say a burglary suspect told them he broke into a relative's home to recharge his phone and then stole her security system because he didn't want her to see him on camera when he masturbated to pornography. Maybe do that in your own home then. Tristan Terrell Tucker, 27, was charged Thursday. Ter Torrell? Is that Terrell. A name? Tristan Terrell Tucker. T-O-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. That's a made-up fucking name. <laughs> was charged Thursday with daytime burglary after an incident that was reported April 23rd. Police said the relative uh, believed Tucker had broken into her home because he had done this several previous times. <clears throat> Please say, Tucker, he broke through a window using a glass breaking tool on the end of the knife because he wanted to charge his cell phone. Point the first. They'll let you do that at Starbucks. They'll let you do that shit at Starbucks. They don't care. And you don't have to break in because their door is unlocked. You can even the cheap. You can just go in and spend a buck for the cheap coffee at Starbucks, man. Yeah. 98 cents, they'll get you a small coffee. If you really want to be a dick, you can just order an ice water. They have to do it. Yeah. I shouldn't tell you that because I work there and it sucks, but you technically can do that. You, and yeah. just charge your phone. Just charge your phone. But no, he decided, well, and, and I don't care if it's Dunbar, West Virginia. There's a fucking Starbucks. <laughs> There's a Starbucks everywhere. I didn't, yeah. Our Starbucks. We don't have one near us, actually. And I'm pretty upset about it. Okay, there's not a Starbucks quite everywhere. What? <laughs> there should be. We have a caribou. That's about the same thing. Yeah. Uh, while inside the residence, he said, he started watching pornography on the phone and began to masturbate. Okay, number one, that's not going to help your phone charge very No, much. weren't you charging your fucking phone? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean... You're not gonna, gonna charge any faster that way. It's actually gonna charge slower that way. Yes, yeah, it's because you got to use the screen and. Um, here. Number two, who just goes to a strange, to, well, even to a relative's house and go, yeah, it's spanking at time. It's spanking time. I mean, it's West Virginia. Maybe he thinks his relative is kind of hot. The complaint said Tucker, uh, Tucker told police he stole the security camera and the DVR box from the home because he didn't want his relative to see him masturbating on camera. And he didn't just steal it either. Police said he told officers he took the cameras behind a store and stomped on the DVR and then threw everything into the river so it could not be recovered. Guess who's not getting a Christmas card? This year? <laughs> I just, it, motherfucker. It's not that far south. Okay, let me explain something to you that I've had to explain to Dan here several mm. times. I'm from New York, mm. all right? I'm from Long Island specifically. When you're from New York, pretty much everything south of Philadelphia is the south. He keeps trying to tell me Missouri is not the South. Missouri and I'm like, yeah, is the it South. is. Missouri is the South. Because no. it's south of Philadelphia, so it's the fucking it's, South. Like, as far as we know, as far as New Yorkers know, everything in between Philadelphia and Disney World is like tumbleweed and Wild West canteens and cows. And, <laughs> and, and Jesus and, and repressed yeah. sex. And Jesus, and yeah. Guns. Like, we were driving through Missouri, and I'm like, every billboard here is like guns, Jesus, and then weird sex innuendo advertising places. Yeah, Tara, Tara's favorite town in Missouri is Uranus because that's where the Uranus fudge factory is. The best fudge comes from Uranus. Right next to a billboard about Jesus. <laughs> like, it's a weird fucking place, man. So... 
everything south of Philadelphia to us, we are elitist pricks. We are. I admit it. Like, I'm a Northeast elitist piece of shit. And it's all the fucking south to us. So West Virginia might as well be in Antarctica, as far as my point of view is concerned. Well, speaking of pricks, um, <laughs> I've never seen such sore winners uh, since after this election. You know what I mean? Yeah. You fucking won, but they don't act like they won. They're acting very much like they lost. Let me show you the electoral map again. I got it. And then this, 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 this fucking, this guy, this goddamn guy. By the way, the chat is largely agreeing with me that Missouri is in the South, so. The, the chat is wrong. <laughs> Often, but not now. United <laughs> Airlines flight diverted to San Francisco due to unruly passenger. Sounds relaxed enough, right? Sounds pretty normal so far. A passenger wearing a Make America Great Again hat and calling fair air traveler, fellow air travelers lesbian and Hillary caused his United Airlines flight from Shanghai to New Jersey to be delayed seven hours, made an unexpected stop in San Francisco to replace a tired crew. Okay, first of all, this motherfucker lives in my state. Hmm. Second, what were you doing in China? <laughs> You love Trump so much, they're the fucking enemy, Red Dawn. What the fuck were you doing in China? <laughs> huh? You some kind of fucking commie traitor? That's, that would have been me, because I can't not troll. I'd be like, really? You were in China? That's so interesting. What were you doing? Incident began Sunday shortly after passengers boarded United Airlines Flight 87 in the Shen Shanghai Pudong International Airport for what was supposed to be a direct flight to Newark International in New Jersey. Uh, fellow pastors posted on social media that the belligerent flyer, upset over being denied an upgrade on the flight, insisted Aww. he was entitled to the seats next to him, even though they were assigned to others. The unruly pastor refused to comply with, ca with crew members' instructions and became increasingly disruptive when asked to be playing the aircraft. In multiple videos of the incident posted by pastors on social media, the truculent traveler is heard yelling, Okay, people, shut up. I am entitled to that seat. At one point, the man referred to a fellow pastor as, quote, a stupid friend over here that doesn't know how to speak English and a, quote, moron. Man called, it's weird how a Trump supporter thinks he's entitled to shit he didn't earn. Yeah. <clears throat> the man eventually deplaned voluntarily in Shanghai, Shanghai, but the three hour delay caused by his behavior meant the plan had to land, that plane had to land at, at San Francisco International Airport to get a new crew as the one on board had been working too long. Between the delay and takeoff, the added stop in San Francisco, the disruption delayed the already lengthy flight by more than seven hours. Yeah, it's a long fucking flight. You, this is, and this is a grown man. This is not a 20-year-old. Have a picture. There's I mean, pictures. Physically, this is a grown man. Psychologically, little man, baby. Right. This yes. is a fucking toddler with a shitty diaper. Yeah. Jeez. This. This is. This is a guy with gray hair. For Christ's sake. This. This is your grandpa. Why are grandpas so angry? What happened? Yes. White men only run eighty percent of the world now, instead of a hundred. It's very upsetting. They're very oppressed. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Midnight Storm of the Channel is pointing out. Why don't you? Sp who doesn't speak English? You just took off from China, asshole! <laughs> I mean, my God! Like, were you on a deep cover mission? Is that why you were in China? You were, you left it. Why doesn't anyone here speak English? You dumb motherfucker! You're a different fucking country, bro. It's just, it's not like... It, Look, it's not Maybe like... Maybe wanted to see where his Make America Great Again hack got made. Maybe it's, that's why he was in China. <laughs> It's not old. It's not like on Star Trek, where everyone on the planet Earth speaks English, okay? Right. And everyone on whatever like planet they're on this week all look alike and speak the same language and have one culture. That's always pissed me off about Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Like, every planet has one culture. Yeah. Really? Okay. Is it, it, why? You have, like, a billion, but I... You 
are lucky he would they, uh, this is the the best part um the man uh was pulled off the plane in shanghai his fellow passengers chanted quote lock him up and charge him <laughs> Uh, fucking asshole. Uh, and finally this week I don't know I I god damn it Tara Tara Sarah yeah, you, you you both wear bras explain this shit oh I I almost sent you this well, at least that's better than when people pull nasty, crumpled up bills out of their bras to pay for things. Oh, that, that's disgusting. That poor lizard. Yeah. I know. I mean, he was warm. <laughs> well, yeah, but I can tell you, it's warm in there. I mean, was he like, because if he's like between, then he's not, he's probably fine. If he's like shoved in, that could be a problem. Yeah, it's, it's a tight space. Yeah. An accused DUI driver allegedly crashed through six mailboxes before coming to an abrupt stop in a grove of trees, all while carrying a pet lizard in her bra. Middle of the afternoon. I mean, maybe she crashed because he started clawing. Cause... Yeah. Middle of the afternoon when Taunton police say Amy uh, Rebello McCarthy, 39, was found laughing. Uh, <laughs> witnesses told cops Rebello McCarthy had hopped out and was standing next to the vehicle when her male passenger jumped into the driver's side to attempt to drive the vehicle from the front lawn back to the road. That may have been possible if all four tires hadn't been flattened in the crash, if all the airbags hadn't deployed, and both oh. bumpers hadn't been ripped off. Have you ever read Good Omens? Yes. yes. You know the part where Crowley is basically driving a burning car held together by force of will? Yes. <laughs> yes. However, didn't, it, didn't the queen and the tape deck still work? Yes. 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 It yes, it did. That was yes. But as soon as he stopped the car, like it literally fell apart. A slurry. And he was a snake, so there we go. That's why she had the lizard. A slurring rebel. Like Crowley's little sister. <laughs> a slurring rebel. McCarthy asked officers to call a tow truck. She began laughing and didn't feel the crash was that serious. She was slurring her words and at times drooling. Drooling. Uh, cops say they found an open bottle of brandy in the front seat with empties of root beer flavored nips. Uh, her blood alcohol content was measured at nearly twice the legal driving level. After Wait, she was drunk on brandy and root beer liqueur. Yep. That was her bender. <laughs> After officers spoke with uh, Rubella McCarthy, they approached the male pastor who they say was smoking a cigarette with no regard to the gas that was leaking from the vehicle. The man couldn't recall his name, and when he turned, they observed what believed to be the butt of a semi-automatic weapon tucked in his waist. So this is just oh. one after another wow. after another. If you are fucked up enough that you don't know your own name, you do mm. not need a firearm. No. You don't. Before police transported Rebella McCarthy to the station, cops say she told them she was carrying her pet bearded dragon. Common pet species native, uh, common pet species native to Australia, in her bra. Lizard was taken away by uh, Taunton police and has been transferred to animal control. What? Oh, oh, the pastor's firearm was later identified as a replica, and he was not charged. So this okay. was just a clusterfuck from start to finish. <laughs> what happened here? I feel like this poor been... lizard. I feel like the lizard is like the least bad part at this point, though. I know. The poor lizard's like, I've seen shit, man. You don't yeah. even know. You've seen that meme that's, uh, so you might have wondered how I got myself into this. <laughs> right. That's this whole story. That's this whole story. This freeze frame. Yeah. Hi there. This yep, that's me. <laughs> was a day that spiraled out of control. Bearded dragons are not small, no. no. How and big are Um, well, let's... We've got the internet. Let's find out. I didn't realize it was a bearded dragon. I was thinking like a little lizard. Right, like which, a gecko or something. Which still probably doesn't belong in your bra, especially if you're dry. Still, right, but... yeah. Because also touching their skin can give you salmonella. They can get that. out. They can reach uh, about a foot long. No, wait, males grow up to uh, two feet long. Wow. Females can get up to uh, a foot and a half. 
That's a lot of lizard in your bra. Yeah. And I want to show you like, guys. Like, are you using him as an underwire? <laughs> I don't understand how anyone Does could. Does she have him trained to hold them up? Because that would be impressive. I don't understand That's how true. anyone could put this in their bra. Because. Ah, no. That is, that is a little, that's a little living buzzsaw. Yeah. And yeah, well, exactly. I was thinking like a leopard gecko, just like a little. Yeah. Little but some people are into that. They have those little spiky wheels, you know. Maybe that's her thing. I'm just saying. Poor lizard. <laughs> it would not be the first animal uh, we've covered that was involved uh, on winning See, we that guy that broke into the yoga studio to masturbate while popping all the all the exercise balls like I poor Liz hurts <laughs> As that, that is the first thing we've learned this week if you're going to do crime leave your pets at home yes yes and leave the horses alone don't yes, don't fuck animals, animals want no part of your crime oh. leave them alone like we don't bring Peggy and Dottie when we rob banks. <laughs> We leave them home. We've learned that just because your political candidate won the White House does not mean you are entitled to have everything. That's not how that works. It's, Even if you're an old white man. Yeah, it's it's not like, you know, the Super Bowl and everybody gets a ring. No, that's not how it works. That is nope. that is not it's it's not yeah, that's not how that works. Um we've learned also other countries speak different languages. They do. Yes. We learned that shit on Sesame Street. We've learned that th you can, one, you can charge your phone. An easy way to charge your phone in a Starbucks is go and order an ice water. And two, don't go jerking off in your Aunt Sally's house. No. Especially when she, don't break into Aunt Sally's house and jerk off. You are. Especially when you know there's a security camera. Yeah. He could have just erased it. He couldn't have to, like, fucking destroy the damn... Ugh. Clearly, he's not that bright. He is not. <laughs> We've learned that animals... Do, and another, yeah, another thing about animals, don't try to kiss... No. Don't take a wild animal and try and... Don't fuck with the wild thing, because they will kill you. Just leave them alone. And finally, why do I have to say these words... If your child is having a birthday party at the Chuck E. Cheese, picture that child in 10 years and how they're going to remember that day. Is it going to be shitty pizza and medio <laughs> mediocre entertainment, or is it going to be seeing daddy at his first bail bondsman? If your actions at your child's birthday party are going to be the reason they're in therapy 10 years from now, don't do it. Who takes a gun to Chuck E. Cheese? Why? Like, I find those animals creepy, too. I really think they should send you on It's a Small World at Disney World with three baseballs to see how many of those creepy puppets you can take out. If you really want to fuck... No, no, here, here's the thing. If you really get pissed at another grown-up at a Chuck E. Cheese, here's what you do. You get $50... You go buy as many of those fucking quarters as you can, and you hand them to their child. 